Alright, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. I want to start out the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. It says, he, and he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I had told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is very time, it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right. Now, if you know your brothers and sisters have been paying attention, watching the news, you know that a great storm has, you know, has judged the state of Louisiana right now. All right. Called by the name of Hurricane Ida. Now, mind you, the Lord, let's read this part again. It says, verse 2, 2nd Edges 9, verse 2, it says, Then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Now, a way that a Lord, how the way that the Lord is visiting visiting the world is by what? It's by tempest, by storm. Alright, so let's go to the scripture. Let's go to Let's go to the book of, let's see, book of Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6, it says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with great earthquake, or slake, and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire, right? And the way how the Lord is visiting the earth, as I just mentioned, by the way of what storms earthquakes and hurricane ida is another another way how the lord is visiting the earth now i'm mentioning this because you people like to try to give credit to mother nature you say mother nature is doing this mother nature is doing that no it's your how about shimmy was shy who is bringing plagues upon the world which he have made as he said he would do okay you think we the hebrew israelites okay are just out on the highways and byways just because no we're out there to give you the message of the lord we're out there to give you warning from him that it's time to repent because he is beginning to visit the world which he has made all right now a lot of you scoffers and mockers you people that are walking in great pride you don't hearken to the men of the lord the servants the prophets okay in all actuality a lot of you mock us okay a lot of y'all scoff at us a lot of y'all you know, a video record us. You talk shit. Okay? You do all these different things. But when you start to be plagued, then you try to start to call upon the name of the Lord. And then a lot of you people still calling on JC. And JC ain't here to save you. I tell you that right now. JC is not here to save you. Okay? Because that's not the Lord's name. Alright? But the point being is that what? The Lord is visiting the world which you have made. And he's doing it by the way of these storms. OK, now, how about it that, you know, everyone is already in this, you know, bad position, so to speak. A, a lot of people are, are, are on unemployment. OK, a lot of people are still relying on the, uh, the next stimulus payments. OK, a lot of people are troubled by this, this housing eviction moratorium, which I believe they just delayed it, which I knew they was going to do. OK, but a lot of people are going through a lot of things. And this, this, this Hurricane Ida is just an add-on. This is just an add-on, okay? To put you, you people in a more uh, a state of desolation. That's the word I'll use. To put you people in a more state of desolation. All right? And the Lord is visiting the world. So it will behoove you Israelites to what? To hearken and to repent and return back to him. But we know many of you are not going to. All right, because what? You're rebellious, you're stiff, you're stiff necked, and you're hard hearted, okay? And you want to do whatever the hell you want to do. But that's all right, though, okay? Because the Lord, like the Lord said, He's going to reprove you, okay? So let's read this again in the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, and with earthquake, and with great noise, and with storm, and tempest, and the flame of devouring fire, okay? So this. It's how a lot of you people are being visited, okay? And we plan, we praying for the, the brethren, okay? The brothers and their families out there out in that way. As the scripture says, I pray for them. I pray not 
for the world. So when people got all these different posts and you know, Facebook posts and Instagram posts and you know, saying this and pray for the man, the hell with all that. Okay. So. All right. So let's continue on. Let's go to. <clears throat> let's lock this down to two things at once. All right. Okay, so, uh, oh, let's go, let's, let's go here, the book of Jeremiah. Ooh, ooh, Jeremiah 14, verse 10, it says, Thus said the Lord unto this people, thus, they have, thus have they loved to wander. They have not refrained their feet. Therefore the Lord doth not accept them. He will now, he will now remember their iniquity and visit their sins. And little do you know, Jake, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which you are the biblical Israelites, by the way. Little do you know that the Lord is going to visit you for your iniquity. He's going to visit you for your sins that you continue to do. And E, see, E tells you and E allows you to continue in this madness as if there's no consequence. Or the, as if there's no consequences to your actions. Right? Now, when you break his laws... Okay, his statues and, you know, different codes that he has set up. His, you know, you, you got consequences for that. But when it comes to the Lord, you ain't got no consequences. Nah, he fooled you, Jake. Because the consequences that you get from him from breaking his rules ain't nothing compared to what your high and Al-Shah got for breaking his, or breaking his rules. Okay? And that's why we tell you, but you, you, you got this, this. This, 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 this Christian mindset of, you know, nah, you know, God is just love and, you know, God, you know, he, he got to forgive me. You know, he, he know my heart, so he know how I really feel. Nah, nah, you showing how you really feel through your actions. Okay. Through your actions, that's how you show how you really feel. And he see, okay. He see as you work wickedness, right? You don't love thy neighbor as you love thy, uh, yourself, right? You don't, uh, uh, uh. You don't uh, 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 love God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. Roughly paraphrasing. You don't do these things. Matter of fact, let's... Uh, we're going to get that. Let's continue a little bit more. Verse 11 it says, Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 11. Then said the Lord unto me, speaking unto Jeremiah, pray not for this people, right? For their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering, offering in an oblation, I will not accept them, but I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, behold, the prophet say unto them, You shall not see the sword, neither shall they you have famine, but I will give you a short peace in this place. And this is what false prophets, you know, have been telling our people. Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Okay? But we're telling you, uh, speaking as truth, you know, as the prophets of old spoke, okay? The ones that spoke in truth, might I add, Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8, the prophets that been, have been before me and before thee of old, prophets that both against many countries, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And we're letting you know that this is coming, okay? This is, this is coming. Yes, to your, your, your so-called precious America, Babylon, and Great. This is coming. All right? So now let's get the, I believe it's Matthew chapter 22. Yeah, because our people walk in great wickedness. The book of Matthew chapter 22, verse, is it? Eight. Yeah, so here we go. Uh, let's start at verse 34. Matthew chapter 22, verse 34 says, But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Yahweh Shah said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is likened to it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and all and the prophets, okay? And 
I know you got a lot of Christians that do quote this with, you know, without understanding. And it's like, look, every, you know, everything fits in just these, these two alone. Right. Example, if you love your neighbor as you love thyself. OK, you're not going to you're not going to commit adultery. You're not going to bear false witness on him. You're not going to steal from him. And so forth and so on. If you love. Right. If you love the Lord, if you love thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, you're not going to uh, worship deities. All right. You're not going to uh, disobey his commandment. You're not going to eat things that he said don't eat. You see, everything falls right under. OK. So the point is. That the Lord is visiting the world which he have made. And it's time for you to repent, Jake. All right? Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Let's see if I can find one more. Oh, my goodness. Hosea chapter 9, verse 9. They have deeply corrupted themselves as in the days of Gibeah. Therefore, he will remember their iniquity. He will visit their sins. That's what we're trying to let you know. All right? So I just wanted to touch now to the spirit. Lord, when I hope it was edifying, so next time I want to say, shalom.